Hi everybody, my name is John Ellis and this is a two-part video where we're going to talk about the backstory of who I am and what all this is and, and how we got here. And then part two will be uh, how we can help you and what we're doing now and where we're headed. So look for me to put up a two on the screen. That'll indicate when we've moved to part uh, two. If you want to skip ahead, you're already familiar with the backstory. Um, otherwise, here we go. So my, I'm, I'm John. And uh, five years ago, I created a process called engagement broadcasting. And I was inspired by watching Barack Obama do a Google Hangout uh, while on network television. And I said, there's a way that these can be combined that would make it much more useful to have a conversation on the Internet. That's where things are moving. And, uh, so I worked on this process, built systems, technology to manage that conversation and, and handle that process. And uh, I had a business. And we were doing well, and, and I was uh, on the, the road to, we were actually going to pitch this product for what it does for business to Starbucks. And uh, right as we were preparing to do that, uh, my mom, who had been battling cancer for uh, 10 years, she uh, went into hospice. And I had to stop what I was doing with that and go help take care of mom with the rest of the family. And she passed away in uh, 2014, and uh, so I took a break. And uh, while I was taking a break, Bernie Sanders announced that he was running for president of the United States. And I thought, this is incredible. And then for the first couple weeks after that, I watched mainstream media completely ignore that and no one covering it. And I thought, this is insane. All, right? All these people I see on the Internet are inspired by what's going on with Bernie Sanders. No one's covering him. So I put out a call in May of 2015 for volunteers to help me uh, create Bernie 2016 TV. And... Uh, we went through five channels and broadcast hundreds of uh, rallies and th thousands of hours, millions of views. Uh, it, it was an incredible experience. Over 200 volunteers uh, showed up, and we created the first volunteer media network for a political candidate that was an engagement broadcasting network and facilitated a real-time conversation between the social media uh, platforms online and our pr uh, production environment. That's what this technology was designed for. And I actually, uh, we spoke with different aspects of the campaign, the Bernie campaign at the time. We worked with some of individuals in the grassroots behind the scenes to help get live streams up. And it was an, an incredible experience. And all along, this technology was uh, the, the root of how we were able to stay organized, how we were able to disseminate information, how we were able to come to a consensus, because it was designed to do that. Right. So we went through five channels. Ah, pull that back up. We went through five channels uh, because... Uh, YouTube has this thing about people presenting political speech, which is protected under the First Amendment, right? Uh, but when you broadcast CNN's political speech, they decide they own copy. They can claim it as copyright, which is illegal. But that's the way YouTube functions. So I had to keep creating channels, and then I created Political Revolution TV, and we did a bunch of shows, The Real Newsroom, which was a seven days a week news program, the first of its kind to really do what it did. Uh, we uh, created Uphill Media, which is another channel, and that's where we're at now. And um, we've done a lot of shows, a lot of different shows. And we were with Bernie 2016 TV. We, uh, the volunteers created a show called Native Life, which is about indigenous that was run by Pat Spray, who was a, a Native American uh, back in, in uh, Maryland. We had uh, uh, we the People, which was a volunteer-driven uh, interview program that interviewed a lot of candidates and political activists and uh, sitting politicians at the time. And uh, I was very proud of everything that we did at Bernie TV. We moved forward today, and now I'll say we're in part two, right? And we're broadcasting a, a show called Chad Talks With every Wednesday, which is interviewing uh, progressive candidates and uh, the people, activists, talking about the issues. Uh, we've got uh, Awake with John, which is uh, Tuesday through Saturday. It's a morning show that I do with a guy named Marcus in Germany discussing the issues and how we handle them. And, uh, and we're, we're, we're shifting, we're moving and doing production on Facebook as well, so we're expanding out. Uh, but how can we help you? Right. That's the question. Now, what, what can this technology do for you if you're a candidate, if you're a political organization, nonprofit organization, believing in progressive issues, if you're uh, the Democratic Party, which is who I'm really talking to. Hey, Democratic Party, I know some of you in that party, and I'm, I'm now a member, and I'd like to bring this technology to you because it, it's designed to facilitate a conversation. It's designed to organize 
people, whether they're online or all sitting in the same building. And it's designed to bridge those two worlds. And it does it inexpensively. And it does it with a process that's been honed over five years for, used for numerous applications. Right? Got this thing down. And uh, I'd love to work with uh, progressive uh, individuals or parties to uh, win the war of information which is really what we're faced with right now. I, this, this technology, great for business, if, if I really cared about businesses and consumers right now, I don't. I care about winning the war of information in this political revolution against the establishment and against uh, our government, our federal government, which is, which is really uh, working in hand in hand with mainstream media right now to completely misinform the American public. This, this platform is really, a, a, it's, a, it's a tool for the 99 percent but it's one of the most powerful weapons we have in the war of information and so i'd like to work with you whether that's creating a unique programming uh doing live interviews broadcasts, streams helping you build your own network whatever it is that's what i'm here for that's what uh, the volunteers that still work with me in uh in what we call bernie 2016 tv but it's it's really just uh, it's really all of these channels. It's all of this groups uh, functioning as uphill media today. There it is. That's the, that's the background of how we got here, what we do now. This is a message uh, for everybody fighting the progressive battle that we are fighting right now. It's not necessarily political. It's about the issues that affect us all, right? Climate change, income inequality. Those, those aren't political issues. Those are issues of survival. Right? All right. Thank you so much. Talk to you later. Oh, and if you want to get a hold of me, <laughs> info at Bernie2016.tv. Best way to do so. Thanks.